The fate of the Cameron County tax assessor collector now in the hands of a jury. A Noises County jury made up of nine women and three men began deliberating in the case of Tony Isaguita Jr. just before four o'clock this afternoon. Channel 5 Daisy Martinez is live in Noises County with more. Daisy. Oscar, it's all been said and done. Now it's up to a jury to decide which side of the case they believe. At about 5 this evening, they sent out a note to the judge asking that all the Spanish audio and video recordings be translated into English. The judge wrote back to them saying at this point that was not possible. He then gave them the option to continue deliberating or pick things up again tomorrow. Then the jury was dismissed. Now I want to take you back to today's closing arguments. Prosecutor Christine Trejo addressed the jury first, going quickly or count by count telling the jury that the state proved its burden beyond a reasonable doubt that Izaguirre took bribes. She told jurors bribery is a crime of secrecy and that's why Izaguirre was meeting ineligible car dealers behind closed doors in his office, taking their money in exchange for titles. Trejo told the jury she's asking them to find him guilty on all 15 counts because Izaguirre betrayed the public's trust and violated the law he took an oath to uphold. Defense co-counselor Miles Garza then addressed the jury. He focused on the issue that the state's key witness, Mel Sosa, being a car dealer. He insisted that because he was acting as such, as defined by law, Izaguirre's office had no duty to check for any documents required of other citizens. He told the jury, quote, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck, end quote. Defense attorney Eddie Lucio followed that up with more of an emotional approach, trying to tug at the jury's emotions. He stood behind Izaguirre, held him by the shoulders, and told the jurors he was, quote, ripped from his family when he was arrested for crimes he says he didn't commit and put into a cage. Lucio went on to point out that the various times the state's witness testified about not knowing certain car transfer laws, when he arrested Izaguirre, he told the jury there were doubts brought up that no one paid attention to and at most Izaguirre's arrest resulted from, quote, a bunch of investigators that didn't care enough. He asked the jury to acquit him of all the charges so that Izaguirre could, quote, walk out and hold his head high once again. Lead prosecutor Peter Gilman had the last word before the jury went into deliberation. This was his strongest showing throughout the entire trial. He apologized to the jury for making mistakes that caused him to have to dismiss some of the counts against Izaguirre, but went on to argue that despite that, Izaguirre is guilty. He told jurors that Izaguirre is, quote, the top dog in his office, and he is responsible for everything that happens there, not his employees, as the defense tried to suggest. Gilman told the jury that Izaguirre's actions affect them, too, here in Nueces County, not just the people of Cameron County. He insisted Izaguirre knew he was breaking the law to help a friend. He asked for a guilty verdict on all counts. Now, the jury will reconvene here in the Nueces County Courthouse at 9 tomorrow. We will stay here and bring you that verdict as soon as they have one. Live from Corpus Christi, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.